the Geminid meteor shower and comets are a coming, maybe. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Alberry, And I'm Marlene Hidalgo. And I'm Dean Regis. On Thursday night, December 13th, and early Friday morning, December 14th, you'll have an opportunity to see one of the best meteor showers of the entire year, the Geminids. They're called the Geminid meteor shower because they appear to come from the constellation Gemini the Twins. Although that's just an illusion. Plus, we want to give you a heads up about two comets that may put on a super show in the coming year. Let's show you. Okay, our skies are set up for Thursday night, December 13, about 10 p.m. facing east, where you'll see winter's most famous constellation, Orion the Hunter. Look for the three equally spaced stars which mark his belt. If you shoot an arrow up from his belt, you'll spot a super bright light, the planet Jupiter. And if you shoot an arrow down through those same stars, you'll land on the brightest star we can see, Sirius, which marks the eye of Orion's bigger dog. Plus, up to his left are two other bright stars, Castor and Pollux, the two brightest stars of the Gemini twins. And it's here, near the star Castor, that the Gemini meteors will appear to originate. And this year, they should be super good, because there will be no moonlight whatsoever to wipe out even the faintest meteors. When the shower is at its peak, some may actually see up to 75 meteors per hour. Now this year, I'd suggest you watch from about 10 o'clock Thursday evening until dawn Friday if you can. It will make a big difference if you can get far away from city lights. Lie back on a lawn chair or sleeping bag and slowly scan the sky. No binoculars or telescope needed. As time goes by, Gemini will rise higher and higher in the sky so that by 2 or 3 a.m. it will be super high above the southern horizon. Meteor showers occur when our Earth rides through a stream of debris left in the path of a comet. But the Geminids are actually asteroid debris and appear every December when our Earth rides through the stream of debris left by asteroid Phaethon 3200. So we could call the Geminids an asteroid shower. Now let's ask an important question. What's the difference between a meteor and a comet? They're both big flaming balls that zoom across the sky, right? Nope. That's not right for either of them. Let's talk about meteors first. The word meteor comes from Greek and means high in the sky. The weather person on TV is called a meteorologist and talks about stuff that's high in our atmosphere. And that's where you'll find meteors. Meteors are streaks of light that you see when a small piece of space rock collides with our atmosphere. What you see is the column of air that the particle passes through. Meteors are not usually very big. Typically, they're smaller than your thumb. The Geminid meteors you'll see will be about 50 to 70 miles up. On any dark night, you might expect to see a meteor every 10 to 15 minutes. So there are lots of meteors every night. But you'll see a lot more than usual during a meteor shower. But what exactly is a comet? And how is it different from a meteor? Comets are much larger objects that are in orbit around the sun and produce huge tails of gas and dust when they come close to the sun. The lighter stuff in their makeup vaporizes and forms long tails that can stretch for hundreds of thousands of miles. Plus, they're millions of miles away. And these particles are visible only because they reflect the light of the sun. And if everything is right, they can put on a spectacular show that lasts sometimes for weeks at a time. Meteors, on the other hand, last for just a few seconds. And around the 12th of March, a comet will appear in the western sky just after sunset, and it might be super bright. Or maybe not. And next fall, there's a chance we may see the brightest comet in over 300 years, but... Don't count your comets before they hatch. But there's a chance it could be fantastic. To find out, you'll have to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.